Hello and welcome to another exciting Thursday for our soaring, soaring sim series race number four, 2023, with the YDSC, the Youth Drone Sports Championships. Hope everybody is having a whooptastic day. Happy to all for Transient Handling Day. That is a term referred to in car racing, but can also be used for drone racing, especially for this course that these pilots are about to conquer today. I am your host, Sour Power. Having production booth is Shy Dragon with Dragon's Eye Media. We are sponsored by NCAT, the National Center for Autonomous Technologies, and we are also powered by League OS. If you are looking to start up an esports league or you have one and looking for some amazing software that's super friendly to use, you can go to leagueos.gg, grab the Discord link, and they will be able to help you out. Also, if you are looking for a way to fly, especially if you're in sixth grade to 12th grade or even in our collegiate program, you can go to fly.youthdronesports.org for more information. Send us an email. Go ahead and create a free account. Click on the Discord link and come to our very moderated Discord. Enough of that and let's get on with it tonight. One last and final announcement is our next sim race. For regular season, we'll be at next Thursday on February 23rd at 6 p.m. Central. Our next in real life, as we call IRL race, is going to be held at Washburn High School, also live streamed at 10.30 a.m. Central. If you are in the area here in Minnesota, feel free to come on out. It is free to spectate. All right, leading up to race number four after first after the first three races we have with 45 points in 11th place we have melon then tied for eighth place with 83 points is mclovin and king lee only a few points ahead for another tie with 87 points is Eclipse and yourself number one. In sixth place with 90 points, only three points ahead is Quad Boy. One point ahead in fifth place with 91 points is Cyrus. Four points ahead, rounding in the number four spot is Gordo. Then we have, with 98 points, only three ahead in the number three spot, we have Boomer. Then we have the two pilots who have been here for every single race with 140 points. We have, in second place, Squirkin with only Eight points ahead in the number one spot for the regular season is Broth. This is how tonight is going to work. We are going to be racing in two separate heats. These pilots will have five rounds. They'll be going five times a piece. After those five heats, we add up the points. After the points total, we go into our mains. We'll explain the mains once we get there. All right, pilots. Without further ado, we have from the Academy of Holy Angels, King Lee. Then we have the University of St. Thomas. We have Broth coming. From Wichita, Kansas, we have Quad Boy. And rounding out the number four spot. From the Tiny Turbines, we have Squirt Kid. All right, pilots, shake it off. 
get ready to go. These pilots, just like in real life, are flying 65 millimeter 1S ducted drones. That is from motor to motor is how we measure them diagonally. All right, pilots, here we go. Goggles down, thumbs up. We got Kingly, I have Broth, I have Quad Boy, and I have Square Kid. And we're off. Broth with the whole chopper. Squirk and Broth trading spots right now. Right now we have Squirk it, Broth, Quad Boy, and Kingly. Kingly having a little bit of fumble up, trying to learn the course as they go. Broth overtakes Squirk it. Got Broth, Squirk it, Quad Boy, and Kingly as they come around to lap number two. Broth with a little bit of a lead, about six gates ahead over Squirk it right now. Then we have Quad Boy about five gates behind Squirk It. Oh, Broth has a little bit of a fumble up. Two in a row that starts to close the gap for Squirk It. But here comes Broth. They are shaking everything off. These pilots were practicing right beforehand. But it's always the first couple of batteries that the pilots shake it off. Got Broth only a few gates to go. Followed by Squirk It. Now about 15 gates behind, and we have Broth finishing P1. We have Squirk it, P2, Quad Boy, P3, King Lee. In P number four, Squirk it finishes in P number two. And we go over to Quad Boy. Quad Boy, whole lap and a half right now ahead of King Lee. They just have to keep it nice and smooth and not crash. If they crash and they get stuck, that will get King Lee to close the gap, but Quad Boy then finishes it out. And then we have King Lee. Coming around, set a 10 second countdown. We'll let King Lee finish this, finish this lap and then we'll do a false start. go King Lee finishing in P4 here we go pilots false start false start all right so rounding off round number one and heat number one we have Broth in first Squirk it in second Quad Boy in third King Lee in fourth here we go pilots round number two goggles down thumbs up And they're off. Broth with the whole shot that time over Squirk It. Squirk It overtakes but misses the gate, putting Broth in first. Kingly in second. Squirk It coming back overtakes Kingly. Kingly having a little bit of a fumble up. That's Broth. Squirk It, Quad Boy, and Kingly as they are battling around. Right now, Broth not too far ahead of Squirk It. Only about a gate. Oh, Squirk It goes down, giving Broth a little bit of extra time. Broth having a little bit of a fumble up there. Now Broth coming down the triple. So we got Broth, Squirk It, Quad Boy, and King Lee. Broth and Squirk It. Lap number two. Quad Boy, King Lee. Quad Boy, lap number two. Meanwhile, Broth on lap number three. Squirk It falling a little bit behind here. Squirk It on lap number three. Broth has another little fumble up as they are going around. Broth trying to finish it out with only one more game. Two more gates. Oh, but that is not enough. Broth taking P1 that time. Then it's up to Squirk It, Quad Boy, and King Lee. Squirk It on lap number three, only a gate to go. Squirk It finishes out in P number two. Quad Boy on, just starting on lap number three, only nine gates into it. King Lee, meanwhile, still on lap number two. Super hard course. These pilots do not like me for giving them this course, but it will help them out for the next course coming up IRL in real life. Here we go. Quad Boy only a gate left to go. 
And Quad Boy finishes it in the P3 spot, giving P4 to King Lee. So right now, none of the positions have changed. So far, overall, we have Broth in P1, Squirkit in P2, Quad Boy in P3, and King Lee in P4. Look, King Lee finish off these last couple of gates here, and then we will go again. All right, starting to get this course more and more as we go on. Pilots have been training super hard for this. They put in a lot of time, a lot of practice. These are not easy to fly, but once you know how to fly these, you can fly anything out there. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down, thumbs up. We do a lot of racing here. I try not to talk as much. And we're off. Broff with a little shot right over Squirkit. Broff having a little bit of fumble up. Squirkit overtaken, but Broff quickly overtaken again. Goes super wide. Quad Boy now in first. Broff and Quad Boy trading spots. Squirkit right there in the mix. Followed by King Lee. As they are coming around, Broff back in. Oh, P1. Had a little bit of fumble up, but not enough for Squirkit, who's only about a half a gate behind. Falling a little bit back. Broff misses a gate. Misses two gates. Has to go back through. Squirkit overtakes P1. So it's Squirkit, Broff, Quad Boy, and King Lee. Squirkit putting a little bit of a gap. Just trying to keep it nice and smooth. Broff having a few issues going around. But Broff overtaking Squirkit as Squirkit has a little bit of issues as well. This course is not easy. Not for the faintest. Squirkit and Broff side by side. They're going around. Oh, Broff has a little fumble up. Squirkit overtakes, but Broff quickly overtakes again with a nice little tight turn. Lap number three. Oh, Broff messes that up, but fixes it. And. And here comes Squirkit. Squirkit takes P1 that time over Broff. Here comes Broff in P2. We have a little bit of a change up in the ranks. So we got this time Squirkit P1. P2 goes to Broff. Then it comes down both Quad Boy and King Lee. Quad Boy ahead with only a few gates over King Lee. See if Quad Boy can hold it together. One gate and Quad Boy P3 putting King Lee in P4. They are all neck and neck. We will let King Lee finish out this lap here. They only have a few to go. We do a fly in high schools and we have schools all over the country as well. If you're looking to learn how to do this everybody starts from a complete beginner all you have to do is go to fly.youthdronesports.org and we can go ahead and help you get started all right here we go pilots for heat number one round number four Our goggles down thumbs up When I say goggles down, thumbs up for these pilots as Broff takes a whole shot right over Squirkit, Quad Boy. Ooh, King Lee in P3, Quad Boy in P4. But as I say goggles down, thumbs up, what that means is we do that in real life, even though we don't have it in the simulator, but we use this as a training tool. So goggles down lets the pilots ready up and put their goggles down over their faces. It's not VR, it, they are goggles. It's like throwing a TV on your face and then when I say thumbs up that's they give me a thumbs up letting them know letting me know that they have clear video before the race starts meanwhile we got Squirkin first Broff having a fumble up Squirkin about six gates ahead putting it all together now we got Squirkin first Broff in second Quad Boy in third right behind Broff as Broff is fumbling up 
So we got Squirk it, Broth, Quad Boy. Quad Boy can overtake Broth here as they're coming down the ladder at the same time. Broth flips on their lid. Is this enough? As Quad Boy is trying to overtake. And I messed that up because they were side by side, but Quad Boy actually was a lap behind. So we got Squirk at P1 that time. Broth in P2. Quad Boy now starting lap number three. And King E4 right now. Now, if any of these pilots do tie by the time it's all said and done, we will be doing a race off with these pilots. We don't do any motocross rules here. It's all about racing off for the position. Quad Boy finishes and solidifies P3. King Lee coming down the triple ladder. With only a few gates to go. Coming around. One more gate, and we finish. All right. This is round number five. So heat number one, where these pilots can take a breather. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down, thumbs up. We have King Lee, Froth, Quad Boy, and Squirk it. And we're off. Broth with the whole shot followed by Squirk at Quad Boy and Lee. See if Broth can hold it together and take that P1 back as Squirk it overtakes Broth. Broth flips on their lid. We got Squirk it, Broth, Quad Boy, and King Lee. It's all about seating position as well. So, is this something that they're just trying to get good enough but not too much to have off time? This P1 overall will be into seated in the A main, which is the finals. B main will be P2 overall between these two heats. And P3 will be the C main, and everybody else will fight in during the D main. So meanwhile, we have Squirk It, Broth, Quad Boy, and King Lee. Squirk it going down. Broth overtaking Squirk it. Got Broth, Squirk it, Quad Boy, and King Lee. Broth and Squirk it. Broth have a little fumble up, recovering quickly, missing the gate. Here comes Squirk it, and Squirk it takes P1 that round. Broth P2. Meanwhile, Quad Boy and King Lee are battling it out for P3 and P4. Quad Boy a little bit ahead of King Lee, but anything can happen. Quad Boy has a sizable lead. One gate. Quad Boy finishes in P number three. Meanwhile, King Lee in P number four. We will let King Lee finish it out so I can have time to tally up these scores. And right now, overall, it's not said and done because we still have heat number two coming up with another four pilots that will be battling it out. But right now, with 20 points in P number four is King Lee. With 15 points in P number three is gonna be Quad Boy. 
with eight points. First and second is between eight and seven points with eight points and P number two overall is broth. Squirk it takes first place so far with seven points. We'll see how this plays out because they could still have a potential race off. All right, pilots. Take a rest, take a breather, go grab some water, shake it off. As we start to bring on heat number two, I have from Holy Angels, we have Gordo. Coming from Highland Park, we have Boomer. From CEC, all the way out in Col Colorado, we have yourself number one. And coming from St. Cloud University, we have Cyrus. Make sure all these pilots are good and flying. All right, pilots. Here we go. Gordo from Holy Angels taking on Boomer from Highland Park. From CEC in Colorado, yourself number one, taking on Cyrus from St. Cloud University. Here we go. Here's heat number two, round one. These pilots will go five times. And then we will total them up. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down, thumbs up. Cyrus flips on their lid right before the start. We have Gordo taking the whole shot. You flip on your lid beforehand, you do get a penalty. Right now we have Boomer in first, Gordo in second, yourself number one in third, and Cyrus in fourth. Anything could happen. These pilots are fast. They are smooth. Boomer having a little bit of fumble up. Gordo overtakes Boomer. So right now we got Gordo, Boomer, yourself number one, and Cyrus. They're coming on this difficult course. Gordo right now about three gates ahead of Boomer. If you see a little bit of lagginess on the stream, that's just a little bit of loss of drone. These pilots are actually flying through the gates and everything. Boomer catching up to Gordo right now. It's only about two gates behind, not far. Gordo gets P1, followed by Boomer. Now it's down to yourself, number one, and Cyrus. Cyrus, only a few gates behind yourself, number one. Anything can happen. All comes down. They are both on lap number three. Cyrus only about a half a gate right now behind. Cyrus taking it a little bit tighter than yourself, number one, but yourself, number one, opens up the gap. Oh, yourself, number one, has a little bit of fumble up, but it is not enough as yourself, number one, followed by Cyrus. Yourself, number one, in P3, and Cyrus in P4. So after round number one, heat number two, we have Gordo P1, Boomer P2, yourself number one P3, and Cyrus P4. All right, here we go, pilots. Round number two, goggles down, thumbs up. Here we go on the tone. Pilots are all pre-arming, leaning forward, waiting for that tone to go off. Breathing deep, and they're off. Gordo with the whole shot, followed by Boomer, yourself number one. Cyrus overtakes yourself number one. Boomer overtakes Gordo as Gordo and Boomer are side by side. They are there. If this was in real life, we would have had a little mid-air collision. But good thing it is not. Gordo overtakes Boomer now. Gordo having a little bit of fumble up. Oh, hitting the gate, bringing Boomer back in P1. We got Boomer P1, Gordo P2, Cyrus now in P3, yourself number one in P4. As they are going around, Gordo taking it super tight. Oh, Gordo having a little bit of fumble up, a little bit of commentator's curse. Here comes Boomer. Boomer is in P1 right now. P2 is Gordo. P3, Cyrus, and yourself number one in P4. 
as they are coming through. Gordo flipping on their lid. Is this enough? Are they truly stuck in the gate or can they get out? It's up to yourself, number one, and Cyrus. Cyrus and P3. Cyrus closing the gap right now, about to overtake Gordo. Boomer about ready to take a P1 spot. Boomer finishes the P1. Cyrus overtakes Gordo as Gordo's trying to fish their way out. They are almost loose, but only a few gates to go. Yourself, number one, is about... 15 gates behind, but anything could happen. Gordo still has time to flip out as long as they're not out of battery. So right now we got Boomer and P1. Cyrus, P2 overall. Gordo still trying to fish their way out. As here comes yourself number one. Yourself number one just overtakes Gordo. Anything could still happen. Gordo frees themselves. All these points do matter. Can Gordo catch up and overtake? With only a few gates to go. Here comes Gordo trying to push it hard. Oh, Gordo fumbling up. But Gordo takes P3 just over self, yourself number one in P4. What a race. So after that, we have Boomer took a first. Then we have Cyrus in P2, Gordo P3, and yourself number one in P4. These points are super tight. Right now, I'm not even going to mention pilots because anything could happen. But first is three points. Second is four points. Then for third is six points. And fourth is seven points. So here we go. Shake it off. I'm going to give you a 15 second countdown. Shake it off. Deep breaths. Getting ready to rock and roll. Epic blade to blade battles. So excited to see all of you race in real life. These pilots are absolutely amazing. Every last one of them. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down, thumbs up. Heat number two, round number three. And we're off. Boomer with the whole shot that time over Gordo. Gordo having a little bit of fumble up. Put in P4. Right now we got Boomer, Cyrus. Oh, Gordo crawling their way back up into P2. But only about a half a gate behind Boomer. Gordo having a little bit of another fumble up. Boomer trying to hold it nice and smooth and nice and tight. As they are coming around. Up and down, round and round, where they stop, nobody knows. We got Boomer in P1, Gordo P2, Cyrus P3, yourself number one, P4. Boomer getting a little bit of a sizable gate. Don't know if it's the pressure, don't know if it's the course. But Gordo falling a little bit bar far behind now. Cyrus making their way up. But here comes Boomer on lap number three. Boomer trying to finish it out with another P1. And Boomer takes another first. Now it's up to Gordo to try to keep it together, which is only about eight gates ahead of Cyrus. Yourself number one. About 11 gates ahead of, of Cyrus. Or behind Cyrus, excuse me. Gordo takes P number two. So we got Boomer P1. Gordo P2. Now it's down to Cyrus, only one gate to go, and Cyrus finishing P3. And yourself number one in P4. We only have two more heats to go before we tally them up, see if there's any race-offs, and get all of you seated into your mains. All right, pilots. Here we go. Goggles down. Thumbs up. Slow as smooth, as smooth as fast. Pilots have been training hard, pushing it super hard. We have what's known as qualifying pace and race pace. Race pace is when you just simmer it down about a half a tenth a second millisecond excuse me to uh to just be smooth 
It's all about being smooth and not crashing. As we have Gordo overtaking Boomer. Boomer and Gordo going back and forth. Right now we have... Ooh, Boomer added there for a second, but Gordo overtakes. Boomer overtakes again. So we got Boomer, Gordo, Cyrus, and yourself, number one. Cyrus taking, overtaking yourself, number one. As these pilots are already on lap number two. Only a lap and a half to go. Boomer having a little bit of fumble up. Gordo overtakes Boomer. Boomer quickly overtakes us. Gordo has a little bit of a fumble up. Here they go, up and down. And over here in our circle solemn. Followed by our elongated triple threat. Boomer coming around in the psychedelic tunnel. Up and over with one gate to go. And Boomer takes another P1 showing his dominance. As Gordo comes in P2 that time showing their dominance. Meanwhile Cyrus and yourself number one battling it out right now. Cyrus only a few gates to go just has to keep it nice and smooth to finish off in P number three which puts yourself number one in P number four. It's P number four, yourself number one. P3 goes to Cyrus. P2 to Gordo and P number one to Boomer. We only have one more to go. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down, thumbs up. Last one before we total it up. Gordo, Boomer, yourself number one, and Cyrus. And they're off. Gordo with the whole shot followed by Boomer, yourself number one. And Cyrus, but Cyrus quickly overtakes yourself number one. Yourself number one falling back a little bit, but not too far back. Boomer, Boomer goes back to second. Gordo. Gordo has a little bit of a fumble up, but right there on Boomer's tail. Boomer flipping on their lid. Can Gordo overtake and stay nice and smooth and, and take this P1 away from Boomer? Right now we got Gordo, Boomer, Cyrus, and yourself number one. Gordo and Boomer battling it out. Cyrus and yourself number one battling it out. Every point matters as we come around because this is how it will seed you. Boomer having a little bit of trouble letting Gordo about eight gates ahead right now. All Gordo has to do is keep it nice and smooth. Boomer is super fast and Boomer can catch up at any time. But it all comes down to the slightest of mistakes, but not enough because Gordo takes P number one. Boomer, P number two that time. Now it's down to Cyrus and yourself, number one. As they are battling it out, Cyrus with a little bit of a sizable lead. Can Cyrus hold off yourself, number one again? With only a few gates to go, and Cyrus ends up taking P3 that time. Gordo overtaking Boomer. Boomer taking P2 that time. Cyrus in P3, and yourself number one in P4. We're going to add these up. Pilot, shake it off. Use the restroom. We can give you a two-minute countdown. Points are being added up and super duper close. We have one race off already. Woohoo! We got two race offs going on, pilots. Let me start seeing you for the unofficial points, and then we're going to go into the qualifying. race off between fifth and sixth place so right now in eighth place with 20 points goes to King Lee 
only one point ahead for seventh place is yourself number one up on deck both with 15 points is quad boy from wichita kansas and cyrus from st cloud university get these pilots uh loaded up here Cyrus and Quad Boy. This is going to be a three lapper between these two pilots. Whoever finishes first will take over P5, and the other pilot will take P6. All right, pilots, here we go. Goggles down, thumbs up. Quad Boy versus Cyrus. Mano y mano, blade to blade for P5 and P6. Hard working pilots as we have Quad Boy overtaking P1. Cyrus quickly overtaking Quad Boy as they are battling it out back and forth. Quad Boy going wide. Cyrus having a little bit of fumble up. Quad Boy taken. Oh, Quad Boy had P1 there for a minute, but Cyrus quickly overtakes as they are both down around the triple. Quad Boy, make sure you are going lower on those flags. There we go. Cyrus and P1. Quad Boy overtakes P1. They're still battling. Oh, Quad Boy has a little bit of a fumble up. Cyrus can catch up. Quad Boy, I mean, uh, Cyrus only about a gate and a half, two gates behind Quad Boy right now. Quad Boy coming down the triple. Coming around. You have to go lower. Lower, Quad Boy. Lower. Lower on those. If you don't do it this last lap, it automatically goes to Cyrus. Quad Boy in first right now but it all comes down to they have to be lower on those flags no not go uh oh so right there cyrus takes p1 over quad boy and cyrus beats quad boy anyhow on the last couple of gates because cyrus on those flags right there cyrus went down lower you have to be from the top of the flag to the bottom of the flag not above even though that's where like the gate marker shows it is a velocidrome thing but the way we fly in real life is you do not go up and over them all the pilots were warned in pre warm up race so that will put Quad Boy in P number six. Cyrus in P5, still beating out Quad Boy after that. Then, so they both were tied for 15. Then, next up, with nine points in P number four. These are the unofficial results because we still have our mains to go. Would be from Holy Angels, we have Gordo. Then, with eight points, in P number three, and they will be going on seated into the C main, is from the University of St. Thomas Broth. Now, with seven points apiece, we have P1 and P2 up for grabs. From Highland Park, we have Boomer, and the Tiny Turbines, we have Squirkit. They will be battling it out 1v1, blade to blade, as we do say, because P1 and P2 will matter. P1 overall will get seated automatically into the A mains. P2 will be in the B mains. The rest of the pilots between 
Gordo, Cyrus, Quadboy, yourself, number one, and Kingly, they are going to be into the D main. So those pilots will be on deck after this round. After this round of 1v1s, we will go ahead and go over everything about how the mains will be working. So for Highland Park, we have Boomer, and from the Tiny Turbines... Room is unlocked. And room is locked. Alright. Alright, so we have Squirkit taking on Boomer. Alright. And they are both in the air. Here we go, pilots. Three laps. One time, winner takes all. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down, thumbs up. Squirk it from the tiny turbines, taking out, taking on Boomer from Highland Park. And we're off Squirk it with the whole shot. Boomer not far behind. It could be a strategy thing as well. But here we go. Boomer overtaking Squirk it, having a little bit of fumble up. Squirk it overtakes Boomer as they are coming down on the ladder. Squirk it's still in first. Boomer right there. Chomping away. Boomer missing the gate. Giving about another half a gate to Squirk it. As they're coming over, Boomer overtakes Squirk it. They are on lap number two. With only a lap and a half to go. Boomer having a little bit of fumble up, but gets right back on it. Squirk it falling back. Squirk it about ten gates back right now. Boomer trying to keep it nice and smooth. Coming around on lap number three. Meanwhile, Squirkit is just on lap number three. So sizable lead. Boomer just has to keep it nice and smooth to take P1 in this one. Oh, but Boomer has a little bit of fumble up. Recovers. Comes back around with one gate to go. And Boomer takes the P1 overall. Followed by Squirkit. We'll let Squirkit finish up. Squirkit having a little bit of fumble up, but no worries. Could it have been? Even. Just a little. little of a strategic play or not. We will find out. So, Broth is in the C main. Squirkit taking P2 overall. In our qualifying rounds, we'll go into the B main, and Boomer will take the P1 spot and be automatically seated into the A main. Now, the way that these will work is we are going to have, start off with our D main. The first pilot to two wins they do not have to be in order this is what we call chase the ace but the first pilot to two wins will go ahead and tally up the store uh, up the scores we're gonna take first second and third place overall and they will move up into the C main to take on broth if any pilots are tied we are going to have a race off Especially because all of this comes down to overall position as well for points. So, we have here in the D main, we have from Holy Angels, we have Gordo. From St. Cloud State University, we have Cyrus. From Wichita, Kansas. We have Quad Boy. Then from CEC in Colorado, we have yourself number one. And rounding it off, another pilot from Holy Angels, we have King Lee. Get all of you set up here, pilots.
All right. I'll make sure all of you are good and flying. And remember, pilots, just like I said in our pilot meeting, any pilots are flying above, and I will catch you flying above those markers will automatically be DQ'd into last place. All right, pilots. Here we go. Gordo, Cyrus, Quadboy, yourself number one, and Kingly. Chase the ace. First pilot to two wins. Does not have to be in a row. Top three. Move on to take on Broff in the C main. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down. Thumbs up. And we're off. We have yourself number one with a whole shot. Gordo quickly overtakes. So right now, yourself number one still in P1. We got yourself number one, Quad Boy, Cyrus, Gordo, and Kingly. It's all about finishing top three. Do not finish in the bottom two. As we're coming around, Gordo quickly overtakes P1. Putting it together, keeping it nice and smooth. So we got Gordo, yourself number one in P2. Quad Boy in P number three. Cyrus P4, Kingly P5. Quad Boy having a little bit of fumble up. Cyrus going into P3 that time. Back Gordo. Cyrus P2, yourself number one is P3. Quad Boy P4, Kingly P5. We're coming down and around. That was perfect, Quad Boy. Awesome job. So Gordo takes the first ace. Now it's up to Cyrus, yourself number one, Quad Boy and Kingly. Quad Boy flips on their lid. Is it enough for Kingly to catch up? Kingly is fading away here. Trying to learn this course on the fly, not having too much practice time. So we got Gordo in taking the first ace. Cyrus now comes in, P number two. Who's going to be P3? Is it going to be yourself number one or Quad Boy as they come through? And it's Quad Boy in P number three. Yourself number one in P4. King Lee in P5. So what that means is... What that means is if Gordo takes another ace, another first place, we will close it down, add up points, and see if there's any race-offs. But it's up to Cyrus, Quad Boy, yourself number one, or King Lee to take an ace. If they do, then we go on. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down. Thumbs up. And we're off. We have Quad Boy with the whole shot. As it gets all jumbled up, Quad Boy still in P1. Gordo overtakes Quad Boy. We got Gordo. Quad Boy, yourself number one. Oh, King Lee overtakes P3 right now. We got Gordo, Quad Boy, yourself number one, and Cyrus. Here they come around. They're still all on lap number one. We got Cyrus and yourself number one battling it out. King Lee right stuck in the middle. And then we have Gordo and Quad Boy. Quad Boy about five gates behind Gordo right now as the pilots are just trying to keep it nice and smooth. They're still trying to overtake Gordo in order to have this thing go on. If not, we add up the points and any ties we do have a race off. We got Gordo still in P number one. Quad Boy, P2. Cyrus, P3. Yourself, number one, P4. And King Lee, P5. Here we go as we come down and around Gordo on lap three with only a couple of gates to go and Gordo gets the second ace that means we will solidify this Gordo is definitely moving on we will find out right now we got quad boy p2 Cyrus p3 yourself number one p4 and p5 going to King Lee so they're coming down quad boy only one gate to go and quad boy gets p2 that time then it comes down 
Cyrus P3, yourself number one, and King Lee. Cyrus, just cap it and keep it nice and smooth to solidify that P3 spot. With only one gate to go, and Cyrus gets P3. Then we have yourself number one and King Lee. Self number one has about five, four gates, five gates to go, four gates to go. Here we go. King Lee falling a little bit far behind, and yourself number one taking P4 that time, putting P5 onto King Lee. So that is how it will go for overall for tonight. We will have King Lee taking eighth overall from Holy Angels, from the Academy of Holy Angels, from CEC in Colorado. Seventh place overall tonight is going to be yourself number one. We do technically have a race off because the points were the same between Cyrus and Quad Boy. However, all three of those pilots, it is not for a position of between getting knocked out and moving on for final position. So there will not be a race off again. That is the reason that we are not doing it for anybody out there who does not know. Don't forget, I will be releasing tonight's course afterwards, so stay tuned. All right. Up now. We have... Guardo from the Academy of Holy Angels. Cyrus from St. Cloud State University. Quad Boy from Wichita, Kansas. Taking on P3 spot overall Roth from University of St. Thomas. The C main will work the same way first pilot to two aces then we will tally it up then we will go ahead and we will add up the scores any race offs we will do if not top three pilots will move on to take on the p2 overall of squirk it all right pilots deep breaths shake it out here we go Goggles down, thumbs up. We got Broth, Gordo, Cyrus, and Quad Boy. Who will take on the first ace? We will find out. And we're off. We got Broth in first, uh, Quad Boy in second, Gordo in third, Cyrus in fourth. Gordo overtaken Quad Boy right now. So right now we got Broth, Gordo, Quad Boy, and Cyrus as they are battling it out side by side. Broff and Gordo side by side. Any little mistake by either of these pilots and it could be detriment detrimental. Quad Boy and Cyrus only a few gates behind each other. It's all about not finishing last. Oh! Broff having a little bit of fumble up. Gordo takes the lead. Broff flips on their lid. Is it enough? Can Quad Boy catch up? Oh, Broth having a another little fumble up. These pilots are going side by side. Broth having all sorts of issues, giving a little bit of a gap there to Gordo. Gordo already on the final few gates. Gordo coming around. Gordo takes the first ace. Here comes Broth. Broth coming around. Broth taking P2 that time. Now it's down to Cyrus and Quad Boy. Quad Boy moving up to P3. Only a few gates to go. Cyrus having a little bit of issues. And Quad Boy taking P3 that time. Followed by Cyrus in P4. So now we have Gordo with an ace. Gordo takes another ace. We tally it up. 
and we find out who takes on Squirkit. If either Broth, Cyrus, or Quad Boy take an ace away from Gordo, or take an ace, we will end up moving on. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down, thumbs up. Gordo with an ace. Broth, Cyrus, and Quad Boy need to get, get an ace away from Gordo. And we're off. Gordo with a whole shot, followed by Broth, Quad Boy, and Cyrus, but they are all mixing it up. We got Gordo in first, Broth in second, Cyrus in third, Quad Boy in fourth. They're coming around the ladder. Trying to take it nice and tight, nice and smooth. Trying to catch up. Broth having a little bit of a fumble up. But they know as long as they finish one, two, or three, they are safe. still P1, Broth P2, Cyrus P3, and Quad Boy P4. Anything can happen. Gordo and Broth are on lap number three. Only about a half a course left. Meanwhile, Cyrus just getting on lap number three. Quad Boy still on lap number two. Gordo takes the next ace that means after this Broth taking P2 so Broth and Gordo will move on now it comes down to Cyrus and Quad Boy once again about moving on if Quad Boy takes P4 and Cyrus takes P3 we have a race off and Cyrus does Cyrus takes P3 Meanwhile, Quad Boy takes P4. So the only two that are moving on right now is Gordo and Broth. We are having, once again, another race off between Cyrus and Quad Boy. pilots it's gonna be one time three laps one time around or one time uh, through this three times around they're both tied with seven points whoever wins this comes down and moves on to the B main here we go, pilots. Goggles down, thumbs up. Here we go. And we are off. Quad Boy with the whole shot, followed by Cyrus. Quad Boy and Cyrus going blade to blade right now, as we say. Cyrus falling a little bit behind, about three and a half gates. It's quickly catching up. Quad Boy trying to keep it nice and smooth. Coming around. Cyrus only a gate behind. Anything could happen. All it takes is one little slip up from Quad Boy. Hitting one little gate. That pressure building up can skyrocket Cyrus right into first place. They are only on lap number two. Cyrus having a little bit of fumble up, falling a little bit behind. Anything could happen. You saw it in these heats. Cyrus and Quad Boy are on lap number three. This is their final lap. Cyrus catching up about a half gate behind. They are going down the ladder together. Here they come. Cyrus coming around. Make sure you're taking those small or low. And... Quad Boy and then Cyrus. Wow, oh wow. So on that note, sixth place overall for tonight. We say goodnight to Cyrus from St. Cloud State University. That means Quad Boy for taking P1 overall. 
moves up into the B main. Going to be Broth, Gordo, and Quad Boy uh, taking uh, on the P2 overall of Squirk It after having a battle between Boomer and Squirk It for that P1 spot. Meanwhile, Boomer's just sitting there in the A main. All right, just waiting. Hoping their fingers are warm. All right, pilots. Let's get y'all flying here. I have Quad Boy. Work it. Gordo. And Broth. It all comes down to this. This is the B main. We are doing another Chase the Ace. First pilot to two wins. And then we will go ahead and tally it up. Same thing as before. This is the semifinals on week number four, Soaring Spring Season. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down, thumbs up. And we're off. Ooh, we have Squirk with a whole shot, but Gordo, Broth, Squirk it. Gordo had P1 there for a second. Broth overtakes. We got Gordo overtaken again as they are battling. Oh, Quad Boy fumbles up. We have Gordo, Broth, Quad Boy, and Squirk it. It's all about not finishing last again. As they are coming around. Right now, Squirk it having some issues all the way back in P4 this time. We got Gordo, Broth, Quad Boy, and Squirk it. Squirk it overtakes Quad Boy. Coming through. Quad Boy and Squirk it both around. Need to take that lower, Quad Boy. Lower. That was your last and final call on that. If I see it again, it would just automatically be DQ'd. For this round all right meanwhile gordo takes the first ace followed by brocks work it right now in third quad boy in fourth work it takes p3 overall meanwhile quad boy in p4 so Gordo takes another ace. We tally it on, up, and we move on. If not, up to Broth, Squirk it, or Quad Boy to grab an ace and move on. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down, thumbs up. Remember, if you're looking to fly here with the YD, YDSC, go ahead and go to fly.youthdronesports.org. Go ahead and send us an email. Come over to our Discord and we'll be able to help you out. Wow, Broth in first. Oh, Squirk it overtakes. Broth having a little bit of fumble up. Gordo overtakes. Squirk it. We got Gordo. Squirk it. Oh, Squirk it. Squirk it and Gordo battling it out. Meanwhile, Broth is only a, not even a half a gate behind. Broth moving up into P2. Squirk it in P3. So we got Gordo, Broth, Squirk it, and Quad Boy as they are coming around. They are all on lap number two. Broff in first. Gordo in second. Oh, Squirk it and Gordo trading beads. Coming around. Gordo moving up to P1. With only one lap to go. Gordo gets his ace. We tally it up. It's up to Broff. Squirk it. Or Quad Boy. It's ace away from Gordo. Gordo with one more to go, and Gordo solidifies it. Broth right behind him, P2. Now it's down to Squirk it, only a couple gates ahead of Quad Boy. And Squirk it, P3. And P4 goes to Quad Boy. So nothing changes there. That means we say goodnight to 
squad boy from Wichita, Kansas, taking fifth overall tonight. That means Squirk it, Broff, and Gordo. Taking one, two, and three. Gordo P1, Broff P2, Squirk it P3. All three of those pilots move on to take the take on the number one seed from Highland Park Boomer now this one here this is going to be a super chase so the way a super chase works for anyone out there who does not know we will run these pilots all the way until one pilot gets three wins or as we say three aces it does not have to be in order but the first pilot to three wins and we will tally it up do any race offs and we will go from there All right. So I have Broth, Boomer, Squirkit, and Gordo. Here. In the mains. In the A mains, the finals. All right, here we go, pilots. Goggles down, thumbs up. A main, round number one. Right now we have Boomer in P1, Prof in P2, Gordo P3, and Squirk at P4. Prof overtakes Boomer. We got Prof P1. Boomer only have to get behind. As they are going down, Boomer has a little bit of issues through that triple and through the psychedelic tunnel. As we are coming down, Broff has a little bit of issues. Boomer overtaking Broff. We got Boomer, Broff, Gordo, and Squirk it. It all comes down to this. As Broff overtakes Boomer, Boomer overtakes Broff. They're going side by side. Meanwhile, Squirk it and Gordo battling it out for P3 and P4. Boomer with one gate. Boomer overtakes Broff with only milliseconds. As Boomer takes the first ace overall putting broth in p2 gordo p3 squirk it p4 oh, all right pilots remember it's the first to three so anything could happen boomer with an ace squirk it broth and gordo still have time to get on the board with an ace we've seen anything happen here before here we go, pilots. Goggles down. Thumbs up. Pilots, arm your quad. As we go live on the tone in less than five. And we're off. Gordo with the whole shot, but Broff quickly overtakes. Boomer having a little bit of fumble up, so right now we got Broff, Gordo, Squirk it, and Boomer. Pilots are battling it out, trying to keep it nice and smooth. Gordo in first. Broth overtaking Gordo. They all want a piece of this action and have this go on. Oh, Gordo having a little bit of a fumble up. Another fumble up. Given Broth. Boomer overtakes Gordo, but Gordo is still right there, right on the heels of Boomer. We got Broth. Gordo, over, Gordo now overtakes. Oh, Boomer has a little bit of fumble up. Bring in Squirk it in P3. One with the ace. It goes down all the way to P4 right now. We got Broff, Gordo, Squirk it, and Boomer as they are battling it out. Trying to keep it smooth and fast all at the same time. These pilots are super fast, super smooth. Super excited to see all these pilots flying in real life. 25th, Broff taking an ace. A, just milliseconds that time over Gordo who takes P2. Boomer this time in P3, 
squirk it in P4. Wow, oh wow. So, after that, Boomer with an ace. Broth with an ace. Still, anybody's race. Take a deep breath. Roll out your shoulders and your neck. All right. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down. Thumbs up. And we're off. Gorda with the whole shot followed by Broth. Squirk it. Gets in first this time. We got Squirk it. Oh, Gordo Squirk, squirk it. Boom. Or Broth going back and forth, battling it out. We got Squirk it in first. Broth in second. Boomer and Broth going back and forth. Gordo right there in the mix as they are all coming around. Squirk it with a little bit of a lead. But anything could happen. They are all on lap number two as they are coming around gordo flip it on their lid putting broff in first boomer in second squirk it in third gordo in fourth this time Ooh, boomer and broff going back and forth they're tr trying boomer trying to sit ahead of broff only about a half a gate ahead right now Coming down, these pilots are super tight on the ladder, going through the psychedelic tunnel. Oh, Broff and Boomer, and ooh, it's Boomer just by a hair. Boomer taking another ace, just milliseconds over Broff this time. In P2, Gordo right there in the mix in P3, and not far behind is Squirk it in P4. Wow, oh wow, this is getting intense will we go the distance on this one right now we got boomer with two aces if boomer wins this next one on boomer the champion tell everyone else up we also have broth though with an ace but if squirk it broth or gordo get an ace we go on Remember, it is the first pilot to three wins to grab those three aces. Anybody can take it away from Boomer, as you've been seeing this tight racing. Here we go, pilots. Goggles down. Thumbs up. Could this be it? Could Boomer take it home this way? Or is Broth, Squirk it, or Gordo gonna take it away from Boomer? As we're off, Gordo with a whole shot. Boomer with a slow start that time. We got Squirk it and Broth going back and forth this time. Broth in first, Squirk in second, Boomer in third, Gordo in fourth. They are all bunched up. Probably have a few midairs if this was in real life right now. Got Broth, Boomer, Squirk it, and Gordo. All they have to do is stop Boomer in this last ace. Right now, we got Broth, Gordo, Squirk it. Boomer uh, hitting, the, hitting a few gates. Going back to P4. But Boomer back up in the mix now. Right behind. Right now, we got Gordo in first. Squirk it and Boomer clawing their way back up to third. Broth in, this time in fourth after having a little bit of a fumble up. Gordo and Squirk, it could take their first ace. We'll find out. Only about a half a lap to go. Gordo with one gate. Gordo takes an ace. And we go on. Squirk it this time. P2. Boomer and Broth. Comes down. Every little point matters in this as the overall points. Boomer takes P3 over Broth and P4. Wow, oh wow. So we got Gordo with an ace. We have Broth with an ace. And we have Boomer with two aces.
So once again, any three of the pilots, if Boomer gets an ace this time, we call it a night. It's up to Squirkit, Prof, or Gordo. Prof and Gordo already have an ace. Squirkit still has time to get on the board. Or Prof and Gordo can grab another ace and tie it up with Boomer right here. Will this be it? Will we go the distance? Super exciting blade to blade. So proud of all these pilots. Here we go. Goggles down. Thumbs up. If you think this is intense, wait till you see the in real life racing. Here we go, pilots. Gordo takes a whole shot. Squirk it. Takes P1. But Broff and Squirk it going back and forth. Right now we got Squirk it. Gordo overtaking Squirk it. So right now we got Gordo, Broff, Squirk it, Boomer. Boomer and Squirk it going back and forth. Gordo, Broff, Squirk it, and Boomer. So they're coming around. Gordo on lap number two. Here comes Broff on lap number two. We got Squirk it lap number two. Boomer on lap number two. So they're all coming down. Could Broff hold it together and tie up Boomer? Gordo can do the same. Squirk it needs to get on the board. Or will Boomer come back and take this away from any of these pilots and call it a night? Ooh, Squirk it has a little bit of fumble up putting Boomer in P3 right now. So right now we got Broff, Gordo, Boomer, Squirk it. And now Squirk it overtakes Boomer. Boomer having a little bit of issues. So we got Broff, Gordo, Squirk it, and Boomer. The tension is high as these pilots are coming around. Broff takes another ace. Just milliseconds over Gordo P2, milliseconds over Squirk at P3. And here comes Boomer this time in P number four. That means we go on. Holy guacamole, pilots. This is crazy. As all the cool kids say, this is getting cray cray as these pilots are going blade to blade. Battling it out. Channeling their nerves. Taking deep breaths and turning it into positive adrenaline. Making sure that their fingers don't shake as they're racing. Only when they're fingers and thumbs come off those sticks is when the shaking happens. The same nice, cool, calm, and collective. Remember, pilots, hearts on fire, minds on ice. Right now, we got Boomer with two aces. We have Broff with two aces. We either Broff or Boomer get another ace. We crown one of them tonight's champion. Gordo has an ace. Squirk it still needs to get an ace. It's up to Squirk it or Gordo to stop Broth or Boomer. Could this be it? Here we go, pilots. Goggles down. Thumbs up. It's our only palm sized drones that they are flying. And we're off. We got Gordo taking a whole shot, but Broth overtaking. We got Squirk in first right now. We got Squirk at Gordo. Ooh, they are shuffling things up. We got Boomer in first. Oh, Gordo overtaking Boomer. We got Gordo, Boomer, Broth, and Squirk it. Boomer in P2 right now. Broth in P3. It's up to Squirk it or Gordo to have this go on. All they have to do is stay nice and calm, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Gordo, Boomer, Broth, and Squirk it. Oh, Gordo has a fumble up. Boomer overtakes. Right now we got Boomer, Gordo, Broth. Oh, Gordo overtakes Boomer as they are battling it out here with only about a half a lap to go. Gordo flips on their lid. Boomer overtakes. But Gordo right behind Boomer. But here we go. And... And congratulations, Boomer takes the ace right over Gordo, crowning Boomer our overall champ tonight. So we got Boomer in P1 overall. 
uh, P2 for this heat, because we are still going to add everything up. P2 is for Gordo. P3 this time is for Broth. And P4 goes to Squirk it. All right, pilots. Give me about 30 seconds, and I will be right back with the last of the scores. Okay, I gotta, I get, I gotta re-add this up, pilots, just to make sure my, my math is correct. All right, pilots. So this is how it shakes up for tonight. We have P4 overall. From the tiny turbines, we have Squirk It for tonight. Awesome flying Squirk It. Stick around. We're going to show off the uh, course here uh, in just a few. That's with 21 points. Of course, we have from Highland Park taking P1 overall. Huge congrats. Amazing flying for Boomer. Now, for P2 and P3, both tied for technically P2 right now. With 13 points, we are going to have a race off between Broth and Gordo. Mono e mano, blade to blade. Let me get these pilots all up and ready to go. Boomer can take a relaxing deep breath. So can squirk it. Gordo room is unlocked. So get back in here. Trust me, these overall points are going to matter. Because they are between first and second for the night. It's two points, but everybody else is only a point behind. And the more you show up, the more points you are going to get. We have only one more race next week until we head into our playoffs. That's where everything gets shuffled around. But the way the overall of tonight and next week will play off or play out will be how these pilots will be seated for the playoffs. All right. I have Broth. I have Gordo. Make sure both these pilots. There we go. Both pilots are flying. All right. Here we go, pilots. It's going to be one race, three laps. Who's going to take, whoever wins this takes P2, other one takes P3. Amazing flying by these pilots as well. Here we go. Goggles down, thumbs up. This will be the last race of the night. And we're off. We got Gordo with the whole shot followed by Broth, but they are still blade to blade side by side as they are coming through. They are trying to keep it nice and smooth. Broth overtakes Gordo there for a second, but anything could happen. Pilots are always super smooth, but any little fumble up. Broth is only about a quarter gate. Oh, that opens the door right now as Gordo is having a little bit of issues coming through, opening the door for broth I think about four gates ahead right now but anything could happen broth still has a whole entire lap broth can clip a gate just like there and that was commentator's curse and not meant to actually happen with broth having a ladder to go down 
you get to go and Broth takes it go ahead and finish it do a victory lap as well Gordo amazing flying by all of you tonight absolutely amazing flying by all pilots I'm going to add up all these points I'm going to give you a rundown of how we will be going into next week as well so I'm gonna have to do this all manually for the time being soon we should have uh, stuff that does it automatically Definitely going to be jumbling up all the points here. As these pilots are trying to just take deep breaths and relax. I'm almost done pilots here. Few more pilots to add up as we go on. Pilots are sitting patiently back. We already have a couple of ties again with these pilots. Other pilots super close. One more pilot here to add up. Give you the rundown. Appreciate everybody out there tuning in to a awesome, fun night of racing. So glad y'all got to witness that tonight. These pilots put everything into it. Just reordering pilots real quick, making sure I don't say any of this wrong. So we have, with 45 points, from the Academy of Holy Angels, we have Melon. From St. Thomas Academy, we have, with 83 points, we have McLovin. In ninth place overall, with 87 points, we have, from the Tiny Turbines, we have Eclipse. In 8th place with 91 points, we have Cyrus. Then we have 
with 125 points in seventh place from the Academy of Holy Angels, we have King Lee. With 130 points in sixth place from CEC in Colorado, we have yourself number one in fifth place with 135 points from Wichita, Kansas, we have Quad Boy with 142 points from the Academy of Holy Angels, we have Gordo. Then in third place with 148 points, we have from Highland Park, we have Boomer with 186 points. From the Tiny Turbines, we have Squirk It. And then we have in first place with 196 points after four races from the University of St. Thomas, we have Broth. Amazing flying pilots. These are getting closer and closer. All right, I am pinning this all for all the pilots to see here. You wanna take a look at each of the races. Tabs are all down at the bottom. For everybody else out there, thank you so much for tuning in for another amazing Thursday of flying. We are, I am Sour Power with the YDSC, the Youth Drone Sports Championships. In the production booth is Shy Dragon with Dragon's Eye Media. We are sponsored by NCAT, the National Center for Autonomous Technologies. We are also powered by League OS. If you're looking to get an eSports team going or just need some awesome software, you can go to leagueos.gg, grab the Discord link, hop in. They are a great group. They'll be able to help you out. If you're wanting to learn how to fly, go ahead and reach out to us either by email or by creating a free uh, free account this way you can link your discord and be invited to our super moderated discord chat you can go to fly.youthdronesports.org for more information that's fly.youthdronesports.org go ahead and for our soaring spring season our next race race number five is going to be happening on thursday february 23rd at 6 p.m. Central. And our next in real life race is that following Saturday, February 25th at Washburn High School starting at 10.30 a.m. Central. While you're at it, go ahead, follow us, get all the notifications. Go ahead, hit the like, follow, and subscribe button. Yes, we do say that because of multiple platforms. So if you're looking confused and you're viewing right now on Twitch and wondering, that is why. I appreciate everybody watching today. Have an awesome rest of your day and have a whooptastic weekend. Have a great night.